Hello guys, welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name is Sarah Louise Brown and today I'm going to show you how to use a concealer. Not only am I going to be showing you how to use a concealer, I'm going to be giving you my tips and tricks when it comes to concealing and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the shade that I use throughout this video is Sand Sable. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and subscribe to Maybelline's channel. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so to start, I'm going to prime my face. I'm going to be using the Face Studio Primer and this is the protecting primer and this one has an SPF of 8 and that is why I am wearing it. I like to have a lot of sun protection living here in Australia. The UV rays can be quite harsh so having SPF in any makeup product and just wearing sunscreen in general um, is a really good tip to have nice youthful skin for when you grow old. Mm, it smells so fresh as well. It feels so nice going under the skin. My first concealer tip, uh, if you are having a blemish or a breakout, that is just, it's a lot. It's a lot happening on your face and you do want to cover it and just putting concealer on top isn't enough. Although this is a medium to full coverage concealer, you can also do this step. So I don't have any breakouts at the moment, thank gosh. Um, but I am just going to put a bit of concealer around my nose before I start to put foundation on, um, just for a little extra coverage. So I just apply it with the actual applicator and then I go in with a blending sponge and I just pounce it into my nose. For the foundation, I'm going in with the Fit Me foundation. This one is in the shade 225 Medium Buff and this one also has an SPF of 18. Yep, that's right, 18 right there. And I love this one. This one is the Dewy and Smooth formula. Um, just looks great. Gives you a bit of a hydration look, you know. Now my second concealer tip is one I do without a doubt every time I am wearing a full face of makeup, it is to highlight underneath my eyes. If you don't feel like contouring with the darkest shade, that's fine because sometimes the highlight can be enough to really just define the areas you want to define. And I'm just going to apply it underneath my eye and I also like to bring it down the side of my nose here because it gives a nice contour definition for the nose. So I bring it down a little bit here down the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows, and on my chin. And now as well, if you have those blemishes that you want to cover up again, um, feel free to go over them now because it can add a bit more coverage to them. And then I just go in and blend. And if I find that I need a bit more coverage, I'll just add a bit more coverage once it's all blended out. This has actually been, I think, one of my favorite concealers ever since I started doing makeup. Now, as you guys have probably seen, I prefer to use a sponge when I'm putting on my concealer. Um, each to their own. I know some of my friends like to use their fingers, um, and for I like using foundation with a brush. So I just prefer to use a sponge with a concealer because it doesn't give it a streaky look, and it presses it into your skin, and it also helps you not crease under your eyes. So shortly I'll show you how I set it, um, but it does involve a sponge as well. I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows with the Tattoo Brow Pomade. This one is in the shade Medium Brown. <sighs> I'll be with you shortly. Lovely, the brows are now on, which is going to actually bring me to my third kind of hack that you can use with the concealer. Taking a flat brush just like this one here, which is still a little bit dirty because I only use it for concealer. I like to take the concealer here and take a little bit off the brush, or you can also put it on your hand and take it off your hand. And you can use the concealer to carve out your brows. So I just tap off a little bit of the excess on my hand, and I like to just carve out the bottom. It just makes them nice and sharp and defined. But if you're not into that defined look, that is totally okay. I personally only like to conceal underneath the brows and I bring it down to my eyelid. I don't normally do the tops of my brows just because I don't need them that defined. I just like it to look a little bit sharper like that. I'm also just going to do a little bit of a hack that I do. I do like to highlight my cupid's bow. So I highlight these two parts here and just the top of my lip. And then just go ahead and blend out with a sponge. I just like it because I feel like when everything's all set in place, it just makes your top lip pop a little bit. Now I'm just going to set that all in place and to do that I'm going to be taking the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I am in the shade Light Medium. And so I just give it a good old tap and it falls off into the lid. 
You can use a sponge if you want to press it into your skin so it melts in your skin or you can also use it to bake as well. Or you can use a brush to just fluff it over. I'm going to do a bit of both. I'm going to pick up a little bit just on my sponge like that. Tap it off and I'm just going to look up and press it into my skin and just keep pressing so it melts. So I'm not necessarily baking because I'm not applying a lot, but I'm just pressing it into my skin. And then what I do so I'm not baking is I just pick up my brush and just take a little bit of the excess powder and just brush it over, brush it on my eyes as well to set that in place. Brush it over the places where I pressed that powder in just so it's no um, excess powder laying on top of the skin. And then once that's all done, I take a fluffier brush and I pick up some of the powder, tap off the excess and I go ahead and just press it all over my face just to set everything down. Now for the next step, you don't have to contour, but oh, I've got makeup all over me, of course. Why would I wear a white top? So I'm just going to be taking the Master Contour Kit here and I'm going to be taking a brush Picking up the shade contour and running this underneath my cheekbones. I also like to put it around my forehead just to contour that a little bit. And underneath the jaw, down the bridge of my nose. Then I like to pick up an eyeshadow brush, pick up that contour shade and just put it in my crease. Just lightly, nothing too serious. And then just to add a little bit more color, so we've bronzed and defined, I'm taking the City Bronzer and this is in Deep Cool 300. For blush, I'm just gonna use the step two in the contour kit. Pick that up on a more dense brush and press that into my cheeks. This blush has a nice shimmer through it, which is wonderful. And for highlight, I'm taking the Master Chrome Highlighter and I'm taking this one in Molten Rose Gold. For mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Great Lash in Blackest Black. And I'm just going to be applying this to my lashes. For lips, I'm taking the Maybelline Colour Sensation Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Baddest Beige. So pretty. Mm, I just love the smell of Maybelline lipsticks. Is that weird? It is beautiful. It gives such a nice colour, and it gives a nice glossy finish. Oh, I think this is one of my new faves. It is so pretty. Can you see that? Don't mind the mascara, I'm going to clean that off shortly. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And make sure to subscribe to Maybelline's channel. I hope you guys learned how to conceal and how to use my tips and tricks with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye guys.